Makako na po Hawaii ne kaoho kaala sito here, aka KO, depending on what region you're living in, for your monetary manao of the day. Happy New Year! This is the first monetary manao of 2024. I hope everybody's holidays was awesome. Time to get back onto the grindstone, get that hustle back on, right? So, of course, I like, as you know, I, I go through a lot of, um, I go through social media mainly to keep my mind updated and learning about finances, about hustling different ways to make money, right? One thing that came to mind this morning was uh, this guy talking about how if we were to put the grind on ourselves, like fully devote ourselves to the next three months, how much would we learn? Like. Put, put it into ourselves or put it into something that you're wanting to do, a business, um, some, kind of, some kind of idea, a project, whatever. The next three months, just devote yourself to it, right? How much more further along in your life will you be three months from now? Then I started thinking of a future self, right? Because I did, a, I did a, um, a challenge with myself that in six months, I want to lose X amount of weight, get more healthier and stuff. And so I started thinking of a future self and how I've said to younger generation and even my generation too that the younger generation has a difficult time seeing their future selves. That's why they live in the now. That's why um, things like retirement or preparing for their future or saving up for the future with no goals is kind of um, not normal for the younger generation, right? I shoot, I would even say for our generation too now, but it just made me think of different things. Like if we don't have a relation with our future selves, whether it's a year from now, five years from now, a few months from now, then then how would we be able to set ourselves up to meet that future self? Like how do you want your future self to look? Do you want your future self to look much more leaner, more healthier? Um, more successful, um, I don't know, traveling, right? Whatever you see your future self as, your present self is setting yourself for that person. So future Ko'ohu has to be set up by present Ko'ohu. If I'm not doing anything to set myself up, then I'm hindering myself. If I don't go to the gym, if I don't eat healthy, if I don't change my mindset and my lifestyle, then I'm piling crap onto my future self that that future self has to deal with it's like you're piling more paperwork onto their agenda right and we've all been there before where people are not pulling their weight and the weight all goes onto you and you got to do double double work how does that make you feel i know how it makes me feel it would make me feel like i would be pissed at my at the person who's doing that but that's yourself that would be me so if i don't if I doing if I'm doing things that are hindering my my progress, hindering my future self, I should be upset at myself for doing that, and I shouldn't be doing that because my future self will will thank me for like starting the process ahead of time, starting it early, putting up the savings, getting my retirement done, getting life insurance while I'm young, getting more healthier, um, drinking less, um, you know, all the things that will help and stopping the things that hinder. All that, it's just so simple. So, you know, like, are you, do you have a relationship with your future self? How is that relationship? Do you do you see your future self being leaner or healthier um, in, a, in a living in a different place? Like if your place you live at now sucks, where would you see your future self living? Uh, maybe you wanna travel more, you know, how often are you gonna do that? Like. What do you see your future self being? And if you have a good relationship with your future self, then your present actions will change. Because like, I want my future self to be more healthier. So what I'm doing now, as far as, um, you know, I go to the gym, but I should go to the gym more, right? I should eat more healthy. I should have better lifestyle. I should, have, I should get more rest. I should drink less. All these things is gonna, is gonna have my future self thank me, right? It's just something to think about. So, do you have a good relationship with your future self? Is there? Do you even see that there is a future self in you? If that's the case, get more acquainted. Maybe start a relationship with your future self. Write things down. See how your future self is going to look. Put up pictures if you need to. Make drawings. You know, this is all manifestation kind of things that will 
bring it all together. When your future self is in the future here, and when your present self connect, whoo, what is that gonna look like, right? How is that gonna look like? And you know what's the fun part is that you don't have to stop there. Like say your future self is a year from now, and you meet, and you, you accomplish what your future self was supposed to look like, make another future self from there. It can be multiple future selves that, that will just add on and continually make ourselves better for the future when we get to be kupuna, when we get to be old, okay? So I just wanted to put one of those out of the box thinkings out there for all of us to try to spread the word on that. Talk to our kids, let them know there is a future them. Stop doing stupid shit, you know what I mean? And that goes for adults too, all around. Okay, Ka'ohu Oka'ala Sito here, aka Kale, depending what region you're living in, for your monetary monotone of the day. Time to pick up the daughter and head to the gym. Aloha!